I've been cooking since the second I woke up. Two days in a row. The toddlers are about to pass out. Oh my. I'm never cooking again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie, it's nice to meet ya. She's a model, she's a mother, and she's a talented cook. Today we are gonna be eating like none other than Nara Smith. She has become the talk of the town, racking up up to 40 million views on TikTok, making recipes from scratch that you wouldn't usually make from scratch. I'm talking Coca-Cola, bubble gum, grilled cheese, but she makes the bread from scratch and the cheese from scratch. And I personally am absolutely obsessed with her. I love her videos. She has three beautiful children, and I was absolutely shocked to find out she's younger than me. That girl grew up quick. Her husband is none other than Lucky Blue. Smith. If you were on Tumblr like me, you will know who Lucky Blue Smith is. So I'm gonna cosplay as her today and see if I can make everything from scratch. Let's see if a normal person like me can make them and make them taste good. I have done a lot of research and hand-picked most exciting recipes that I could find that I haven't seen anyone else do. So we're gonna try and make them. My toddlers, aka test dummies today, are my mum and dad who will be tasting the food. And it is currently 11.45 and we are about to make breakfast. Toddlers, what are you craving this morning? Lucky Winsy Woo Wee? I don't even want to talk about how long it took me to find all of these random ingredients, but I spent about $80 all up for one day. So let's hope it's good. Whimsy Wooloo is craving cornflakes this morning, but I don't keep cornflakes in the house. I have all the ingredients, so I'm gonna make them from scratch. However the heck I'm gonna do that. I started by combining some cornmeal, which they call polenta in Australia, corn flour, tablespoon of coconut sugar, and water in a bowl, and mix that. I think Nara lied because she had way more in the video than this. I am so silly. She said a tablespoon of coconut sugar, but she didn't specify the other ingredients. I need to put way more in. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Nara. You should be, you stupid bitch. Oh, definitely made oobleck. <laughs> I expect if I was to eat an entire pack of cornflakes and then vomit them up, this is what it would look like. Then I poured the oobleck onto my baking tray and spread it as thin as possible. Okay, here's what they look like now that I spread it out across two. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. They've got Lucky Blue Smith. Some people speculate that Nara doesn't cook all of her own meals and she has a whole production team behind her. I mean, yes, yeah, she's rich, but she's also creative. People just love to hate. And even if she did have an entire production team behind her, I would still enjoy watching her videos because they're very entertaining. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion! It's been 15 minutes. And now I'm just supposed to rip this up into little cornflake pieces, but it's boiling hot. Kind of does look like cornflakes. <gasps> this is so fun. I feel like I'm doing a science experiment. I'm really tempted to taste one. Let's see how they taste after I cook them. <laughs> now back into the oven, 50 minutes to an hour at 145 degrees Celsius. The toddlers are gonna be hungry this morning. But that's their own fault for asking for cornflakes when we didn't have any in the house. Little shit. The next thing I'm gonna be making from scratch is my AG1. To make my AG1, I'm just going to add over 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients to my AG1 shaker. Not to mention pre and probiotics and antioxidants. Would you look at that? It's ready. Nara and I may be different in many ways, but we both care about our health. It is a daily nutritional supplement, and I have been taking it every morning without fail for almost two months now. They are very kindly sponsoring this portion of the video, but I I have absolutely loved taking this in the morning and I think it really has helped me with my energy levels. I used to have two coffees, three coffees sometimes a day. Now I just have this and one coffee and I'm set. It also has helped me massively with my gut health and I'm not always the healthiest person. So I just like to know that I'm getting my extra nutrients in a quick little drink in the morning. 
Definitely don't attempt making this one from scratch because AG1 does it perfectly already. And don't worry, it doesn't taste like spinach. It tastes like pineapple and vanilla. If you want to try out AG1, I would highly recommend it. You can click the link in my description box or scan the QR code on the screen here. And you will get a free bottle of vitamin DK32 and five AG1 travel packs with your first subscription. For lunch, my husband, Lucky Blue Smith, was craving bagels with cream cheese. So I decided to wake up super early and make some bagels and cream cheese from scratch. I am gonna follow this recipe, but I'm also gonna use the help of a bagel recipe online, which seems to be the exact same as the recipe that she made. I started by preparing my dough. I combined my instant dry yeast and warm water in a bowl and let that bloom. Then we cover this and let it sit for five minutes. I even got those little shower cap things that she uses on her bowl. Then I added in my bread flour and my brown sugar. <gasps> my flaky sea salt just went everywhere. <laughs> My $5 flaky sea salt. And some flaky sea salt. Now you can keep it kneading in the mixer, but that wouldn't be very trad wife of us. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And knead for six to seven minutes. This is a workout. No wonder Nara's so skinny. She'd be doing a full body workout cooking all these meals. If I put my finger in it and it bounces back, it's ready. <gasps> I think it's ready. An oiled bowl and then cover. And that is our dough. I'm just gonna put this aside and leave it for an hour to 90 minutes whilst we get on with the rest of the stuff. It is currently 1.44 p.m. and the cornflakes just stopped cooking. The toddlers are about to pass out, but I need to wait for them to cool. So I'm just gonna leave them in the oven whilst I also prep my dinner bun. Because yeah, we're making burgers for dinner, baby. Three cups of warm milk. I mean, teaspoons. Where's my cup? Guys, have you seen my cup? Oh my god, I literally just had it two seconds ago. Not cool. I left it in here. There you are, you little rascal. I added to that one cup of warm water. I mean water. Two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. Two and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. One large egg at room temperature, slightly beaten. And I made sure to serve face as I mixed that. Then I added my three cups and three tablespoons of bread flour and a third of a cup of all-purpose flour for some reason. As always, serve face while we mix. Then I added in my three tablespoons of butter and flaky sea salt. I totally needed this by hand and leave to rise for two hours. By mid-afternoon, breakfast had already cooled down, so I prepared it for my toddlers. It is 2.44 p.m. and my toddler's cornflakes are finally ready. And I used soy milk that I squeezed from a soy. Before I let my toddler try this, I'm gonna make sure it's not poison first. This is what I imagine cornflakes would taste like if they were made from gravel. You want some Winsy Woo Woo? Have a taste. I think <coughs> similar to cornflakes, way thicker, way crunchier. Listen to how hard these are. It's like eating bark. Anyway, let's see if the toddler likes it. Whimsy Wooloo, here's your breakfast. I'm having trouble chewing it. <laughs> it's awful. Cornflakes are much nicer, I'm sorry. Ungrateful toddlers. Oh, I hope the dogs like it, yeah. Actually, no, it is pretty bad. What do you rate it? Zero. Wow, you're really being a hater. You're brutal. I've still got it in my mouth. <coughs> it does get stuck in your throat. It does taste of cornflakes. But that's a win of absolutely the wrong texture. Now that the kids are fed, I'm gonna make some cream cheese to go along with my bagels. Easy peasy. I literally just had to go and lie down because I'm so tired and I've not even made lunch yet. And it's three o'clock. <laughs> I grabbed some organic rosemary from the garden to make my garlic confit and put that in the oven whilst I started my cheese. Cream cheese to be exact. I will leave all the recipes down in the description box, but apparently you just need to cook the milk add lemon, and then it turns into cheese. I've always wanted to try making cheese, so I'm excited. I juiced my lemons and then brought my milk up to a boil. Oh shit. Reduced the heat and started adding my lemon juice one tablespoon at a time. <gasps> I'm making cheese. I literally made cheese, what the heck? Guys. I just made cheese. Then I put a cheesecloth over a bowl and a sieve, poured in my curds and whey, and squeezed it like milking a cheese titty. My 
curtain way. <gasps> Guys, we did it. We made cheese. What? Into the food processor. I think it's broken. <laughs> okay, let's try the blender. If I was Nara Smith, I'd just be losing my shit all the time. I do not have the patience for this right now. Do not try this at home. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's turning into cream cheese now. Shut up. That is like, <laughs> I washed my hands, I swear. It is the texture of cream cheese. I promise you, I looked literally everywhere for fresh chives and I couldn't find any. Roasted garlic. Oh no, I think I did it for too long. I burnt it. No. DIY time. Nara from the future here, don't do what I'm doing. I think I just ruined my cream cheese and I'm actually about to lose it. This is when I realized maybe I was better off as a model than a cook. I think I need to start again. How does she do this? <laughs> Guys, it's definitely not a new day and I definitely didn't spend the entire morning remaking the cream cheese because I had a mental breakdown yesterday after it didn't work. I swear. But look at the cream cheese now. The secret was cooking the garlic low and slow. I was only supposed to put in a couple of the cloves of garlic and it's time to make our bagel. I definitely didn't give up on this yesterday, but if I had done that, hypothetically, I would have put the dough in the fridge overnight and then let it come to room temperature before cooking with it, hypothetically. And this is the fun part where we get to punch down the dough. Okay, I think that's enough. I divided my dough into eight pieces and then formed them into balls. <laughs> balls. And then stuck my finger in the middle to make a little hole. Bada bing, bada boom, bagel. Then I put them in my honey and water and let them boil for a minute, making sure not to overcrowd the pot. Then I added them onto my baking tray, brushed them with egg wash, and added my toppings. I chose everything bagel seasoning, sesame seed and sea salt, and cheddar cheese. <laughs> I'm so excited for the cheesy ones. I am a chef. Okay, we are multitasking again. We're making burgers for dinner, but I need to roll this out and let it rise for another hour. So I'm gonna do that now or else I will be kicking myself later. I divided my burger bun dough into eight pieces again, but this time rolled them into little balls. I mean, some girls would consider these big balls. And remember, balls don't all have to be the same size. Cover that. And now I can leave these to rise and not have to worry about them later. Oh my God. You're kidding. They look so good. They look amazing. This is technically for dinner, but I'm gonna make it now quickly. It's a quick pickle, but she also has pickles on the bagel. So I thought I'd just make it right now. I started by chopping my cucumber, adding vinegar and sugar to a pot. I didn't have any mustard seeds, so I just added mustard powder, flaky sea salt, of course, some garlic, and bring that to the boil. At this point, I thought I had created mustard gas accidentally, but I was still breathing, so I added my mixture to my cucumbers and dill. Look at these beauties. It smells amazing. Topped with a bit of the garlic and chive cream cheese. I like a cream cheese heavy bagel. At any New Yorkers watching, am I doing you proud? I can't believe I made this. Have never been more proud in my life. Whimsy Woo Woo. Where's Whimsy Woo Woo? Okay, I think I'm just gonna have a quick taste without her. I'm so excited. Oh my god! Mom! You need to come try this! Guys, I have outdone myself. Midsection. Mmm. You like the cream cheese? Mmm, and the bagel's good. 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I'm not very good at this. I think they're a 10 out of 10, personally. Okay, you're probably right. I just didn't want to, you know, get carried away. That was literally so delicious. I'm going to have another one with the pickles. A little warm pickle never killed nobody. There's it with the pickles on. It tastes like a sweet and sour pickle. Who knew it was so easy to make pickles that quick? Mm. Slay! I wish you could try Slay! this. It's now 
1.50 p.m. which means it's of course time to start prepping dessert. Homemade marshmallows with salted caramel sauce. They need to set for five hours. Also the thing that's really getting me is the cleanup. The amount of dishes that are piling up that I keep on having to clean between every take. Now we're going again. First I added hot water and gelatin to a bowl and let that bloom and got started on my salted caramel. Looks like I'm making something else from scratch if you know what I mean. After an eternity, my sugar melted. Guys, please be careful if you're doing this because I just burnt the absolute crap out of my finger by splattering it. Please don't try this at home. Then I added my butter, almost set the house on fire. Oh, shit and finally added my cream while stirring vigorously. Well, as vigorously as my dainty model arms would let me. To some boiling water, I added honey, vanilla extract, and coconut sugar, and added that to my gelatin mixture. I honestly have no idea if I've done this right because it took a really long time to mix up and it wasn't supposed to, but I'm just gonna hope and pray that it sets properly. I've been eating this caramel sauce the entire time. It is so good. Then I added my caramel sauce on top and swirled it in. And now into the fridge it goes for five hours. That took me over an hour. Guys, I think I gave myself like a fourth degree burn or something and it's already bubbled up. It's small, but it really hurts. Before I start making dinner, I could really use a drink. I would love some boba. I'm craving it, but we don't have any in the house. But I do have all the stuff to make it. So let's make some homemade boba, as in bubble tea. Let's go. To a pot, I added water, brown sugar, and tapioca starch and stirred whilst I let that cook. Then I added my black food coloring and the rest of my tapioca starch off the stove. Oops. So the whole point of doing that thing where I put in a little bit of brown sugar and stuff first was supposed to stop it from turning into oobleck, but it still kind of turned into oobleck. But I can't be bothered remaking it, so I'm just gonna try and form the balls like this and see if it works. This is as good as it's gonna get. I don't even care anymore. I have scrubbed and scrubbed my hands and look at them, look at them. I don't even want bubble tea anymore. I prepared my rooibos tea. You guys know how to do that already, right? I boiled my tapioca pearls, warmed some brown sugar in a pan and added them to that. Then I added some homemade ice and soy milk to my tea. I think my hands are just gonna be like this for the rest of the video and maybe until tomorrow. I've got my tea. My pearls actually turned out way bigger than I thought they were going to. It looks like it. There is so much black food coloring in these though. Can you see them? I swiped some extra straws from a bubble tea place just for this. I mean, I made these from scratch. Murray and I love bubble tea, so I am so excited. Mm-hmm, yum. I did make them way too big though. They hardly even fit through the straw. But I can't believe I just made these from scratch. I just dropped that all over myself. Now it's time to make dinner. And of course, for our burgers, we need ketchup or tomato sauce as we call it in Australia. But Nara also makes her ketchup from scratch. I don't have exact measurements, so I'm just gonna eyeball this. To make my homemade ketchup, I added some tomato paste, honey, vinegar, and seasoning to a pot and let that simmer. My buns had risen, so I brushed them with some egg wash and sprinkled them with sesame seeds. Then I prepped the salad for my burgers, including my very expensive heirloom tomatoes, which just taste like normal tomatoes. I made my burgers out of five-star grass-fed beef mints and smashed that down with some seasoning on top. The burger buns just came out. This one is so perfect. I love it. After this, I'm not cooking for a week. I got a little sauce bottle to put the sauce in and I haven't even tasted this yet, so. Yum. That is actually so good. <laughs> I was so close to licking that just then and then I was like, mm. I cooked my burger patties, added some cheese and let that melt on top and added my pickles, salad and tomato sauce to my burgers. I mean ketchup. Oh no. Isn't that the cutest little burger you have ever seen? It looks like a Krabby Patty. Preparing the Krabby Patty. Midsection. Mmm. Mm. It literally tastes like a burger you would get from a restaurant. I am so happy with how this turned out. This is like 10 out of 10 again. Can you believe I made this entire thing from scratch? Except for the cheese, I didn't make this cheese. Here are mum and dad's burgers. I mean, my toddlers, they're gonna have their dinner now and we'll see what the verdict is. Oh, wow. Mmm, burgers are good. That is delicious. Yes! 
There you go, guys. A grateful toddler. What do you think? Guys, Lucky Blue is home. Lucky Blue Smith. I'm Nara Smith and you're Lucky Blue Smith. And we're both models. Lucky Blue Smith is home now to come and taste his dinner. Well, actually homemade. Yeah, the whole thing. Nice. It's really good, Susie. Yeah? Nice. What do you rate it out of 10? Oh, nine, I think it's pretty good. Dad gave me a 10. What would make it a 10? I don't really know. That it's... means it's a 10. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. quality. Dad knows how to hype me up. Oh, Lucky Blue. <laughs> Now, bubble tea. Be careful though, because it's kind of hard to suck them up. We're good though. <laughs> now, Lucky Blue's going to taste the homemade cornflake. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Gravel. What do you rate them? Seven. Pretty good rating. I thought they were pretty rank. Now, for the homemade bagel, get you a girl that can cook. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not as sad as it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's not quite giving marshmallow texture. And that is the homemade marshmallows. Murray and I just got back from the gym and it's time to try the homemade caramel marshmallows. Cheers. Pretty gross. Something went wrong. The texture's not right. I think it was something to do with the gelatin not blooming properly. I don't know what the deal is. It's like soap suds. But you know what, this caramel, is delicious. I now have a newfound respect for Nara Smith. The effort she is putting into these recipes, I could never. My back is killing me. I've been literally cooking since the moment I woke up. A couple of things came out really good, like the bagels, the cream cheese, the ketchup, the pickles, the caramel sauce. Anyway, that is a full day of me cooking like Nara Smith, even though it ended up being 48 hours cooking like Nara Smith. I'm never cooking again. Props to Nara Smith. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. It helps me out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. And if you're still watching to this point, comment down below a lollipop emoji so I know who the real ones are. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.